it's a few hours before sunset, um, sunrise, sorry. I've only just woken up, so do forgive me. Um, I know you can't see me right now, so I'm gonna make my way home into the forest. And the plan is to find some badges today, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we can find. Um, I'm gonna wait for the sun to rise and then I'll start filming from this camera again. other wildlife that could be around right now um, seeing as it is so early the chances are things like deer um, you know foxes badgers and all of that will be out and about feeling quite safe so um, yeah I'm just gonna keep my voice down um, the plan is the plan is to walk I don't know if you could hear that, but there's a tawny owl. Very, very close to me, actually. Um, I'm going to walk into the woodland, uh, following the footpath. And, yeah, we're going to be looking for some badges, so... Fingers crossed. Let's go. Now the latrines are um, basically badger toilets, um, and this is it's quite fresh. Um, but also, this latrine is quite far away from the main set. Um, yeah, which is why I'm talking right now. Um, all right, so. I have um, left the forest, um, I did actually see one badger, um, but the problem was, it was, a gl it was just a glance, um, there was a lot of activity going on in the background out on the field, um, where we've got the, basically the farmer, and there was also a dog, um, and then I saw this badger just go across the horizon. Um, and back down into its into its set. So, um, with with regard to the badger photography today, I don't think it's going to happen anymore. I now think it's too late in the day. Um, but I have this spot right here um, behind me. If you can see that, but that's where I got a photo of a deer once before um, so I'm gonna spend some time just looking for deer and other things um, but first let's get a cup of tea uh, sit down somewhere and get ourselves ready for some wildlife photography let's go
this is the first year that I've actually not seen the badgers here. Um, although I did see a badger at a glance, so I guess you can kind of say I've seen a badger this year, um, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so far, I've managed to see badgers every single year from this from this set. Um, they're not the best set for photographing badgers because they don't tend to be out during the daylight. Um, they're usually out at around about night time. So um, I put out this camera trap one evening and the badger did actually come right up to the camera. So that was pretty cool. Um, actually, where I'm just sat here, there's a trail that leads sort of just past this log which I'm sat on. And further down the path is a latrine. So what I might do is come back and put out the trail cam along here on one of these trees uh, at some point and see if we can um, and see if we can get any more footage of the badgers um, on the trial camera because uh, that would be awesome as well. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I thought I would just film this. I didn't expect to see any badgers and I did actually see a badger. Unfortunately, I didn't get any photos today for you uh, or video. Um, but as I say, I'll show you some footage and video from this very set right now. I do apologise that this video is a complete mess. There's no organisation to it whatsoever. Um, I've already done the outro to the video and here I am vlogging again. Um, if I'm quite honest, I'm sort of struggling right now with this because uh, it's the first time that I've used this camera for vlogging and um, it's just so different in comparison to using my GoPro. Like, right now, I'm really struggling because um, my hand and my arm is just hurting so much. Um, just because it's so much heavier than the GoPro. Uh, and not only that, I had a situation where I was like doing a little tea sequence and this camera on the little Joby Gorillapod thing decided to start falling as I was pouring boiling hot tea into my mug. Um, what is that? You know what? That is so weird. This is one of those little. It actually is one of those little um, mic covers. The dead cats. That's that's the thing. What? Very strange. Someone else around here must be vlogging. 
yeah so not only did I nearly pour boiling hot water over my brand new camera uh, and mic um, I also nearly dropped it on the floor but luckily I managed to catch it with my legs just before it hit the ground so um, yeah that was a close call and it's pretty stressful as well actually um, but what I figured I would do is because I've still got quite a long walk back um, through the fields and things I might as well just vlog the rest of it because you never know I might see some deer or something oh, I've got to put this camera down oh. oh my god there's a whole family of deer one, two, three, four, five there's five deer roe deer on the other side of the field probably can't see this but I don't think you can see. But yeah. There's a whole family of deer. Yeah. currently way over on the other side of the field um, but I'm going to preempt their direction of travel and fingers crossed I'll get it right and then I'll be able to get a really cool shot of a deer if I do um, so let's get over there now Alright, so as I was going around to try and find these deer, um, I got stopped um, by a woman with two dogs and she started talking to me because I had my cameras. Uh, apparently her brother has done documentaries for Disney, um, one on flamingos, I don't know the name of it, I haven't really watched the Disney um, wildlife documentary productions, but either way that's pretty cool. Um, I'm burning up, I'm really burning up because I got thermals on and my coat. Um, at this point, it's just too, it's too hot, it's too sunny. Um, and I don't know where the deer are anymore. If I have not already mentioned it, um, next week I am going to photograph the Kingfisher. And so I'll be bringing out a video on that in a couple of weeks. So yeah, sorry about how disorganized this video is. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.